Hey y'all, hey, how y'all doing? I hope everybody's feeling good and great and all that shit. Y'all hoes gonna learn about me. Y'all bitches gonna learn about me. Y'all hoes and your bitches and your lame ass niggas motherfuckers gonna learn about me. Y'all hoes gonna learn about me. Y'all bitches gonna learn about me. Y'all hoes and your bitches and your lame ass niggas motherfuckers gonna learn about, about me. 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 Cause I'm that shit and I'm that bitch and all you niggas and bitches can't fuck with. And that's why them bitches be hey eh. And that's why them bitches be hey eh. Cause I'm that shit. I'm going along and I, I do what the shit for so long. And that's why you bitches be hey eh. But anyway, y'all know how I do it. I just jump right into it. And today is sex. <laughs> Tip. Bitch sex tip Tuesday. Bitch sex six Tuesday. Sex I said six six Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it just ran together. Sex six Tuesday. Um, like how do you parents right? I like to talk about this subject like a, a lot. Because I find that people don't have it. And that is how do you talk to your children about sex? Before we even get to that part, before we get to that, we also have to teach them how to interact with, with, with someone of the opposite sex that they like. Because if you don't know how to do that, you're losing already. So you have to teach them how to enter. We have to we have to talk to our boys and our girls, like how to approach someone and, and how to mix and mingle. And the way that you mix and mingle, like you just make like nice little subtle small talk. You be calm, cool, collective, be your authentic self. Don't try to be something else. Cause the phony shit is not, you know, let, let's let's not do that. But also as a guy, when you're dealing with a female, like you know, you have to you have to be calm. You have to be and you have to be courteous. Women love compliments. Girls love compliments. You know, then you know people definitely like to talk about themselves. You know, and also in in a conversation, we also have to teach like how to have a conversation. It just can't be all about you. Like if it, it, it the, the the conversation has to bounce back and forth. Of course, you let that person talk, then you talk, and you can tell a little bit about yourself. And you, it just you just can't take on and then blah 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 all about your motherfucking self. Like now they looking at you like any person in their right mind would be like, nah, this motherfucker got a lot of shit going on. I'm gonna leave this motherfucker the fuck alone. You know what I'm saying? So you have you have you have to learn how to do that, right? And also the big five people, you have to be in control. We have to teach our teaching our children this shit early. You have to be mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, and emotionally well. You have to start to, to, to tell your your children this shit like early. So when they get to a certain point. Uh, when they get to like junior high school or maybe in elementary, whatever, they used to call themselves and, and they liking somebody and, you know, and, and how do they go about telling this person that I like them. And also, um, in the midst of all of that, you also got to teach them about rejection because some of you, man, motherfucker, y'all guys, when y'all get rejected, oh my God, it's like the, the world has ended and now y'all, like, and bricks is being thrown. Like, what the fuck is going on? Now I don't know if her brick was really thrown. Yeah, right, right, right. But calling people bitches and all types of wild shit because you don't know how to handle rejection. Everybody gets rejected. When you go to that job, motherfucker, the motherfuckers don't hire you. Do you go crazy and start throwing shit? Like, what, what, what are we doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. Y'all have to have like these really, 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 
And hopefully you are of sound mind and body. Because some people aren't. And just because you're not of sound mind and body, you still should be able, hopefully, to be able to, to teach your child something. Especially if something was not to do. And, okay, so look. And I was just listening to, Trina was just on, um, she's on a, uh, Cam Newton's podcast, and so she was talking about, oh, shit, did my shit just fall on my ear? No, I'm bugged. And she was just talking about uh, how, you know, being in a relationship and, you know, cheating is not right and all this sort of shit. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I guess I don't know. I ain't going to say I agree, but but for what I know, and I'm not saying that this is every man or every woman, women tend to suppress their sexual desires, but men, you know what I'm saying? I mean, because y'all got that dick, like, you know what I'm saying? And you know, it's out there. You playing with it at a very early age. You take to a girl, a, a woman, like a minute to, to, to do some shit like that. But just knowing what I know, like that's just like I don't believe that. That's that's kind of fairy tale thinking. On some real shit, girl, boo. I tell you so many motherfucking stories. It was a man that was married to his wife for like thirty something years, forty something years. Had another. He had his other chick around the counter, around the corner, from where they lived at. Yeah. And it's countless stories of that. You know how men go to like uh, swinger clubs with, without their wife to go get they loving off of. You know what I'm saying? And then also y'all need to understand that when two people are attracted to each other, regardless if you are in a relationship or not, it has absolutely nothing to do with you. Absolutely nothing to do with you. It's between that person and that person. Now, should they value the relationship? Yeah, because you're in a relationship with somebody. But then again, you know, people, we're not at that point to where we can come and talk to your significant other at, or whoever you're in a relationship with and tell them, like, how you feel about somebody and how they're making you feel. And they down under. You know what I'm saying? Like... You have to be like we, but, but y'all not there yet because you still you're not in control of your emotions. You still allow your emotions to get in and in, um, involved, and also you into this, this this fairy tale way of thinking. Look, I I I don't know. Like y'all think about like what y'all think about like with God, right? When He bring two people together, and we we are here to to be together to to be to procreate. I'm not like a Bible thumping person, but uh, we that that's 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 the point of 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 mankind, of, of all things that are able to 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 procreate to to have sex. Uh, I don't from judging just from watching society and shit, girl. I no. In my own personal thoughts, I do not believe that we are meant to actually have sex with just one person. I don't believe that. And that shit don't even make no sense if you fucking think about this shit. You've been with somebody for so like this year. And I'm not, look, I am not taking away from relationships because relationships are great. You know what I'm saying? I say that shit all the time. But we talking about uh, sex though. Sex ain't necessarily, oh my God, y'all, I've been eating a sandwich. I'm looking like, what is this shit on my face? That's lipstick and shit. I done came on. Look at this shit. Lord. I was busting that shit down too. Like, ah, you see the lipstick is all that. Lord have mercy, Jesus to the Christ. But anyway, um, yeah, like we I don't believe that we're meant to, to, to do that. To be with my person. You think about so many motherfuckers, please. I mean, like, <laughs> girl, please. Yo, the president right now, grab him by the pussy. And I'm sure he be, and like, you know, he was fucking the one chick, the, the porn chick, and then, you know what I'm saying, Clinton in the, in the, like, it's just so, and the shit just goes on and on and on. For real, y'all, we have to really have some real conversations around that. Like, for real. Because I really think y'all live in the fantasy world. If you think that you aren't, or your partner aren't, going to be sexually attracted to someone else. Not only sexually attracted, but also act on it. Because energy is strong. Now, I am not telling nobody got that cheap. I'm just saying. 
And then you think about motherfuckers who be. I mean, some people get filed that they they're in a relationship and they fucking some they, they motherfucking friend. I was just listening to uh, uh what's her name? Lisa Ray was on Carlos King and she was talking about how she had brought Nicole Murphy around her husband and I don't she she uh and she said her husband said that they did have sex but she was denying it and, and Nicole Murphy was her friend. Now, I'm definitely with the, with the girl code. I don't do no shit like that. No. No family members. No nobody that I can... No, no friends. No associates. Like, I, I'm team girl all day. Like, for real, for real. Like, nobody that's in the, in the circle would I ever... Like, nah. That ain't, like, who I am as a person. So, the shit... The shit happens all the time. It's just that people gotta be real about shit. Y'all don't really want to be real about shit because in, in, in this Western civilization, they have fed you this fairy tale shit and you think that that's just how that shit is supposed to go. I don't believe it. Yo, I need mm -hmm. But it's not. And then also, like, Dr. Brian was talking about uh, which, well, you know, she's bringing, that Cam was bringing in dysfunctional family and all this other shit. Who the fuck are you to say what's dysfunctional for him if, if it's working? Like, you know, whatever works, everybody's relationship is different. Just because, you know, motherfuckers, somebody said that this is how something is supposed to be. No, that don't mean that that's going to work for your life. And, and you and your partner. Having conversations with your partner is some real shit. But like I said, I know that's not going to happen until the, the year 5,000. I'll be dead and gone, buddy. Dead and gone. And hopefully y'all have, they, the society would have advanced. Maybe with the robots and around. But let me tell you something about the robots. I bet you some of them freaky, the motherfucking freaky. Y'all know the ones, the freaky motherfuckers who I'm talking about. Who not like this, but like that. Like, what's his name say? Uh, gonna be fucking the motherfucking robots. <laughs> I bet you. As soon as I see that shit, I said, them motherfuckers, them motherfuckers like this is gonna be fucking the motherfucking robots. And some of you motherfuckers who like, probably gonna be fuck, like fucking the fucking robot. <laughs> wow. Because sexual desire, man, it's a strong thing. And it's something that so many people cover up. It makes me also think about this man who was married to this woman and then her husband, her her his wife goes out of town. He go get some gay sex. He go get some gay sex and get uh, unalived. Uh huh. So that's I don't know if she knew if she seen any signs. And y'all bitches gotta stop acting like people in general gotta stop acting like you don't see shit when shit is happening right in front of your motherfucking face, and you wanna act like I see it. Especially when it comes to pedophiles. Especially when it comes to like somebody. Um, trying to have sex with somebody that you know or something, but you don't see that and you don't want to say nothing. And you let that shit just go on. And we also got to talk about like when, when you're well, like mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, and emotionally. With that, you will realize like in a relationship that you don't own anyone. A person do what the fuck they want to do because why? They're their own fucking person. That's why. But then you have motherfuckers who be feeling like, uh, no, that's mine. You whatever, it ain't nobody gone. Somebody start talking like that, bitch. You you got to call the law, bitch. It's time for me to go. I gotta call. I gotta go order protection against this motherfucker. Cause, uh uh. When you see motherfuckers who got like some real like like just. The, the, they floor, they just throwing their flag all in your motherfucking face and you want to ignore it, then that's on you. Then you deal with the dumb shit. Because people are becoming unalive because of the shit. Because in their minds, they think that they own someone. No, you don't. You may have married that person, but they're still their own person. I know I was all over today with this uh, sex tip, though. But 
let me get back to, to my young people. Like, you have to learn how to talk to girls. Like, just, just be yourself. That's first and foremost. Uh, you ask questions. You don't make it all about you. Um, and and y'all just swipe off of each other. You they all, and people when you don't know somebody, they'll give you a good sense of who they are, right? And you also have to use your third eye to be like, look, is this somebody that I want to, you know, continue on to get to know, or like just leave it as a friendship, or just cut ties all together. And if somebody, and if you do meet somebody and that, and and they feel that way, they want to cut ties, or they just want to be friends, then okay. You have to learn how to grow with the punches, motherfucker. Everybody ain't meant to be in your motherfucking life, like, and it's okay. You understand what I'm saying? Oh Lord Jesus, we gotta have these conversations, y'all. So y'all know I'm having, so, so I'm having my seductive art workshop November 23rd, which is this Saturday in Harlem at um, Hempsville, um, Harlem. Look, ladies, it's the ultimate ladies' nights out. It's all about sex and human sexual behavior. Um, with seductive art, there's visual stimulation. We have real sex talk and ESS and erotic sensual and seductive dance. So it's sexy fun, it's informative, and it's interactive. It's like no other. Like no other. I hold no punches. And I'm not trying to convert you to believe the way I believe. No. Have just look like you strong like with they have self awareness about yourself and, and your thought process and shit like that, then that's cool too. But, but we gonna hit some shit on the nail too because a lot of you bitches be delusional about it. a lot of people be delusional about shit and a lot of motherfuckers is not self aware. That's why a whole lot of shit goes awry when you could avoid some of the shit. Then you gotta learn how to avoid motherfuckers who mentally unstable. It's a whole shit. See, once we go down that this whole that. <laughs> It just it can explode. So anyway, so I hope to see y'all. I hope that you ladies see you ladies um, from seven to nine p.m. You can only purchase your tickets. There's no paying at the door, ladies. So because uh, it's a very intimate space, and I hope to see y'all there. And y'all know I'm an author. This time my book is called Quickie and Seven Short Erotic Stories. We like fuck, fuck while you read. It is only in ebook form only, as well as I am a designer slash fashion architect. That's just a fancy way of saying this uh, stylist. Um, this is one of my pieces. I do have some more. Yeah, yeah, my last. Yeah, this was last year. I did this last year, and the one I did. Is blue. Like, I'm on some blue shit. Maybe because that's, damn, maybe it was telling me something that my mother was about to pass. You know, they associate blue with sadness. But no, blue is a beautiful thing if you look outside in the sky. Because I love the color blue. It's not my favorite color, but. But anyway, so yeah, I will have some things available. I'll keep y'all abreast of that. You know, name my brand is Real Nice by Real. Award winning fashion designer, darling. And if I resonate with you, which I hope I do, please hit that, click that. I appreciate that. We try to get to a thousand, then ten thousand, then a hundred k, then a million. You know what I'm saying? And y'all can help me just by click, click. I would appreciate that. And y'all know how we leave this motherfucker. Be kind, be gracious, be on time, be focused, be about your motherfucking money. Black people, be black and proud. Be a part of your community. Be uh, grateful, be a great listener, be gracious, be outspoken, be charismatic, be fabulous, be confident, be fierce, be helpful, be hopeful, be loving, um, be great at what you're great at, be all these wonderful things that only ignite you to the most high. And in the midst of you doing all of that, don't you fold, don't you think twice, don't people around the corner. And that is, you always be you. Because God made you perfect just as you are. And until we meet again, y'all have a great night. Peace. <laughs>